Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. I thought we'd go over a few issues raised by various comments I've received. Today's issue was brought to my attention by a commenter who said that on the issue of evolution, the Church and the Bible used to be opposed to the theory of evolution, while scientists disagreed. However, the Church eventually changed its mind. Then I thought, did they really? Actually, this is a misconception based on a few factors, but the biggest one, I think, is the view that there was some sort of doctrinal obligation to disbelieve evolution in the Catholic Church. That's not correct. The opposition to evolution was largely from fundamentalist Protestants, or perhaps from some individual Catholics, rather than the Catholic Church itself. As for the rest, if you want to wrap your head around the evolution issue, it's important to understand that there are at least three things one can mean when talking about evolution. The first thing that one can mean is life forms descend from other life forms with modifications. Everyone knows this to be a fact. For example, you probably look at least a little different than your father and grandfather do. This is because you've descended from them with modifications. This is what scientists are referring to when they say that evolution is fact. You can observe evolution of this type even without science. The second theory that's meant by evolution is all life forms descend from a common ancestor. This is still under dispute, even among biologists, although there is evidence to support it, and I don't see why it couldn't be true. The third theory is the process by which all life forms descend is natural selection. This is heavily disputed in the scientific community, but still not incompatible with Christianity, since any natural process is also a process instituted by God. I would also draw attention to the fact that the two greatest thinkers in the history of the Catholic Church, Saints Augustine and Thomas Aquinas, both believed that the account of Genesis was not to be taken to mean a literal seven-day period, as sometimes claimed by special creationists. But surely there must have been a time when the Church took the seven-day special creation literally and a change to a time when they didn't, right? Well, no, not really. The general trend in theology has been towards a less-than-literal interpretation of those verses since at least the 4th century, when Augustine wrote that God could easily have created the world with certain potencies which unfolded over time. St. Thomas Aquinas interpreted the seven days as seven dimensions of angelic intelligence through which they observed God's act of creating the physical world. In most cases, the creation account in Genesis isn't taken literally by the Church. The important thing for me, though, is that there was never specifically a doctrine pertaining to which of these viewpoints is correct. As Galileo said, quite correctly, I think, the Bible teaches us how to go to heaven, not how the heavens go. Next, what's wrong with consequentialism? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.